close and yet so far that has been India's story with an ICC trophy till now. India reached the finals of the 2017 World Cup but failed agonizingly short by 7 runs during their chase against England. Prior to this, India came as close to winning was in 2005 when the Indian Eves were thumped by 98 runs in 2005 by Australia. So what's different this time? Well, this time the team has different energy and we are sure that it is going to be the best chance for Team India to lift an ICC trophy. This time we want to enjoy it rather than taking more pressure on ourselves. We are focused at giving our best, said the Indian women's team captain Harvan Preet Kaur. And that is exactly the reason why we are saying that this is going to be the best chance for Indian team to win. Indian captain is pretty clear that she wants to achieve the best laurels not by consuming the pressure, rather with a positive attitude and confidence. So that's why we want to say that the team has got a winning mindset. Prior to this tri-series in Australia, India was unbeaten in the last 6 matches of their West Indies tour. Even before the West Indies tour, they won a T20I series against South Africa. Even in this tri-series, the form of Indian Eves has been quite good and they narrowly missed winning the tri-series by just a few runs against the world champions Australia. In total, India has won 59 of their 108 matches with records improving over the years. India reached the semi-finals of the first two editions of the World Cup but then there was a drought before the Harman Preet Kaur led side reached the semi-finals once again in 2018 that was held in West Indies. With a young brigade that has won 10 of the last 13 matches completed, Team India is going to the World Cup with a winning mindset and would like to continue the same. If there is Smriti Mandana, Harman Preet Kaur and Jemima Rodriguez in one batting lineup, be sure that it would score runs against any opposition at any given time. While Mandana and Kaur are proven talents with more than 3,500 runs together in 170 matches, Jemima Do is a young talent but has a lot of potential. Along with them, there is 16-year-old Shefali Verma as well. Shefali has been touted the next big thing in women's cricket. Shattering the 30-year-old record held by Sachin Tendulkar, Shefali has proved her worth already. Verma shattered Sachin's record of being the youngest player to hit an ODI 50. The Indian women's team coach VV Raman also has a lot of praise for Verma. The Indian coach compared Shefali Verma to Virender Sehwal. He says she has captured everybody's imagination and it's for her to find out just the way Sebag found out that what is his strengths in batting lineup. Well, with India's batting lineup looking pretty settled, the owners would also be on ballers to defend the total that the batting lineups make. With the Yadav twins Radha and Poonam, the Indian spin bowling looks like a deadly attack. Both these bowlers, Radha Yadav and Poonam Yadav, took 8 wickets each and were the joint 4th highest wicket takers in the 2018 edition of the T20 World Cup. The Indian team would like to choke out the runs in the middle overs with their spinners and the captain is also confident of this ploy. Not only that, the captain herself Harman Preet Kaur and the all-rounder Dipti Sharma are also quite a good spinners. And with the inclusion of experienced Rajeshwari Gaikwad, the spin department looks pretty settled. However, with these many options, it has also become a good headache for the team management to pick up their two best spinners. Supporting this abundance of spin will be the pace duo of Shikha Pandey and Pooja Vastrakar. While Shikha is an experienced campaigner, Pooja's consistency will be an added advantage for Team India. Team India has been drawn in a group with Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Australia and New Zealand. While there seems to be no problem in beating Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, the battle against Australia and New Zealand looks like a tough one. While Australia has witted out the women in blue quite comprehensively in almost all occasions, the recent form though proves that India can challenge Australia's might as well. But the toughest battle is going to be against the White Ferns, the New Zealand team. The recent form of the White Ferns has not been that good. Especially in the ODIs, it was whitewashed by a lower ranked South Africa. The Indian team though has looked in a supreme touch. Even in the warm-up matches, New Zealand has lost to England. So it's going to be a tough battle nonetheless. But it seems like the Indian team has an added advantage over their Kiwi opponents. So it's quite evident that Team India can romp into the semis with ease. And from there on, it will be all about giving your best on that particular day. 
There is no doubting the fact that on paper Team India looks like that it is going to end this trophy drought this year. But eventually it will come down to handling of pressure at crunch situations. The average age of Indian Eves is just 22 years and the way they have bonded over the last 1-2 to two years it shows that the team is gelling well and that is the most important requirement for a campaign like World Cup. We have seen that in 1992 how Imran Khan led a young side to victory on the Australian shore. Smriti Mandana, who is young herself, has suddenly become a senior pro in a team that is filled with teenagers. She believes that the bond has been amazing for the last two years and gives credit to teenagers for bringing raw energy into the team. In my opinion, teenagers have not only brought different energy but they have also brought the pill that takes away the pressure from the side. The one thing that the team probably needs to strike is an emotional balance. With the T20i format being unpredictable and certain changes in the scorecard, the tempos would run high for sure and it is at those moments that the team would need an emotional balance to counter that. Till now though, it seems that the team has struck that emotional chord with uploading of videos such as these. Public Machati show, Raja Mati Harry Four, and a Deti Kabi Gali, yes, so match Kele Wali, Pura Karna Sapna Hai, World Cup up to Apna Hai. These videos show that the team has been bonding quite well emotionally. We were quite close in the last two World Cups. The only thing that we lacked is handling of pressure. And now we have to learn that in this tournament. With these words, the Indian captain Harman Preet Kaur had left the country for the Australian shores to bring back the trophy. And we are sure that this time the team would handle pressure quite well and bring us the elusive coveted ICC trophy. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Do tell us how you like it in the comment section. Thank you for watching it. And for more news and views on cricket, you can subscribe our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. This is me Abhishek Singh saying goodbye to all of you till we meet again next time. And also we would like to say all the best to Team India for their campaign in the Women's T20 World Cup. Thank you.